Hey, it's Brie here with So Not Crazy. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a fake square knot. These knots are best used for macrame leaves or feathers, but use your imagination and you could use them in tons of different pieces. So first you're gonna want to get a longer piece of your macrame cord. Um, the length is gonna depend on how long you want your finished piece to be. And then you're going to attach it to your driftwood, your wood dowel, or whatever it is you're attaching it to using a lark's head knot. I'll link to that video in the description. And then you're going to cut several pieces of shorter, um, shorter pieces, I guess I could say, of cord. And again, how many you're going to cut um, depends on how long you want your finished product to be. Fewer pieces for a shorter um, leaf or feather and more for a longer one. So now that you have your longer piece attached to your wood dowel or driftwood using a lark's head knot, you're going to get one of your shorter pieces and fold it in half so you have this loop right here. And you're going to put it behind this piece that you attach to your wood dowel or driftwood. And it doesn't really matter which side the loop is facing. I just kind of always go this way, but you want to put this first shorter piece behind that long piece that's just kind of going to be in the center there. And then you're going to get another one of your shorter pieces of cord. Again, fold it in half so you have this loop at one end. You're going to stick the two loose ends through this initial loop that you have here. And then you're going to pull the two back loose ends through this loop and then just pull those loose ends tight and scoot it up. And that's it for a fake square knot. We'll do it again just to be sure you have it. So again, you're getting one of your shorter pieces of cord. I like to use this three millimeter natural cotton cord. Um, I'll link to my favorite one in the description and you're gonna put it behind these two center cords and then you're going to get another piece short piece of cord here and again fold it in half stick these two loose ends through this loop and hold on and then you're going to get the back two loose ends pull them forward through this loop and then just pull those tight that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.